Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today we got some big EV Jeep news. So we'll get started with the small baby Avenger. That's right the Avenger name used to be on a Dodge Coupe then a Dodge Sedan. Now it's on a Jeep EV. Now looking at this thing there's only a few photos and not much information. This is a subcompact vehicle smaller than the Renegade and I think it looks pretty sharp from the few photos we have. I like the more modern styling. It still looks like a, a Jeep and DNA but we know that this is supposed to be an affordable EV, but it's not coming here to America. Here in America, we're trying to make this EV push like most of the rest of the world. The problem is, we don't have a good grid. We don't have chargers. We don't have affordable EVs. Come on, Stellantis. Why wouldn't you bring an affordable EV here to America if this is your plan? Now, it's not coming here. I like the way it looks. Well, let's talk about something that is coming here, the Wagoneer S. And you're looking at these photos like, hmm, Yes, the Wagoneer name, but it doesn't look like a Wagoneer that just came out a few years ago. You're right about that. This is more sleek. It's more Land Rover, Range Rover in design. We don't know much about this either. We know it's supposed to have about 600 horsepower, pretty good range, futuristic technology and styling. And it looks pretty sharp actually with some of these pictures they have, but we don't know the pricing. We know the regular Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are very expensive. The Grand Wagoneer is over $100,000 when you get it loaded. And uh, so this is going to be very expensive, an EV for rich people only. Now, talking about uh, a Wagoneer as well, there's supposed to be a plug-in hybrid or a 4xe coming out soon, which is pretty interesting. Other news, the biggest news I should say, is the Jeep Recon. This thing's pretty sweet, guys. It's an all-EV. It's coming here to America as well as a lot of other places around the world. It's got boxy, futuristic styling, which I kind of like. The front end looks pretty sharp with the LED lights, the, slight, uh, the slots that are the fake grill up front. But this vehicle has a power roof, so basically hit the button just like the old Liberties, and you can still get this on the uh, Wrangler as well. And the whole top goes back. It's like a giant sunroof, but it's a canvas top. And the doors are removable. Jeep is saying that this is an off-road monster, something that is very similar to a, a Wrangler, but it's all EV. This thing can do the Rubicon Trail, and they said they can, it can do it on a full charge, as well as have enough juice to get you back in the town and charge it up again. We don't know pricing. We don't know range. We don't know power. All we know is it's rugged. It's off-road capable. It might be unibody. It might be independent suspension. From the photos, it might look that way. We'll have to wait and see. Now, all this information I told you guys today, we'll see more about it in 2023 because these are supposed to be 2024 production models so we'll know about more of them soon but let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about these vehicles do you think the avengers cool and should come here to america do you think the recon is badass and it'll be kind of cool to have that and a wrangler going off-roading and what do you think about the wagoner s more expensive evs for rich people we'll have to wait and see but like i said let me know all your comments and opinions down below and if you haven't already and you want to please check out my channel I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's all cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little bit of everything, but please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date the latest and greatest for my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.